We're approaching the end of fashion month and I thought it would be fun to handpick 10-ish, I definitely did a little bit more, looks, specifically street style looks that I liked from the various fashion weeks that went on in September. I already did one specifically on Copenhagen Fashion Week because that's my personal favorite, especially for street style. Um, so I have that already done, so I'm not going to include a lot of that into here, but all the other fashion weeks were fair game. So that's what we are going to do today. Essentially, I'm just gonna go through these looks and why I like them and how I would dumb them down, I guess, into my personal Midwestern lifestyle. You know what I mean? Or just like specifically what I like about these outfits and just outfits I like, I don't know. Really quick jumping in to talk about today's sponsor, Parade. Thank you so much to them for working with me on this part of the video. I am so obsessed. You guys know how much I love the print of Toil, right? Well, please look at this. They launched these, um, I want to say like a, a month or two ago, and ever since I've been dying to get my hands on some, and I am so obsessed with this. Look at how fluttery the top is, first of all, and then the bottoms, obviously, but look closely, look very... Let me zoom you in on the pattern. You can see all those horses and like the little scenes and then the people hanging out there, they're presumably in their parade. So these are their Radiant Glow Flutter Cheeky Bottoms and they really are fluttery. And on the back, they're a little bit cheeky as the name suggests, but so stretchy. And then they also have this brown and cream colorway, which I think is so good. I, it's also obviously so good. Anything twall is good, but look at how good these are. This is the Sculpt High Rise Boy Short and they are super, super stretchy, but they kind of hold you in a little bit more. So I love that about them. Most of you know, Parade's one of my most favorite, favorite, favorite underwear brands. They're so comfortable, stretchy. Like I always say, they're lightweight. Um, they wash really well and they're also really affordable. Along with all of that, they're also sustainable and woman founded. So I love that, of course, obviously. Parade also has other things on their website, such as like pajamas, leggings, active wear. They also have this specific sleep shirt and I just bought a handful of them in every color that they have. And I also bought my mother-in-law one because I love it. It's so, so comfortable. And I buy it in like a, a size or two above. It just like drapes and you just like wear it to bed and it's so comfortable and stretchy. Also like everything Parade. But anyway, if you would like to try out Parade and you would like a discount, I do have one for you. You can use code CUP25 for 25% off. I'll put the link down below um, and I'll put the code down there as well in case you forget it. But yeah, thank you so much Parade for sponsoring and let's get back into Fashion Week. Starting with this look here, which I love so much because you really do not have to uh, make it any more like I could wear this here. You know what I mean? I don't have to edit it or anything for myself, which I love those looks. I think that's like my favorite genre of street style, especially fashion week street style outfits you can wear anywhere. And it's not anything major, but it's still such a cute outfit. And something specifically I love about the outfit are the differing stripes, mixing the two different stripes together. And then with this woven bag, something about this woven bag is like, just speaks to me. Um, I've been like, I actually have like been thinking about a red woven bag. I saw someone with it and I was like, that would be so cute. Anyway, in my head, this skirt, the striping on it, I keep seeing like these thicker um, like stripes, especially with the blue. It reminds me of like a vintage bread spread which I love so much. Um, anyway, with the shoes, obviously I love these shoes, more of a Mary Jane flat. Um, and all in all, with the baseball hat, and then it looks like she has like a little bow, crunchy or something in her hair. I just, I love this outfit. And it's one that I'm saving to wear here because it's so easy and effortless. Um, and I think it's a great way to style maxi skirts in my opinion, especially for fall. It's kind of a different, like it's very similar to the last outfit in the way where you're mixing the stripes and the plaids and like the, patterns or whatever, but I can't express how much I love this outfit. I've been seeing this skirt everywhere lately and I love it. Um, I just love it. You know what? Actually, it gave me so much inspiration because I have so many random like fabric scraps and I think making like a pleated skirt out of these fabric scraps could be so awesome. And specifically like with the mixing matching of the plaids. I think that would be fun. Love that so much. I love her sunglasses too and her bag. Like you can see see the bag mixed in there with the patterns. Um, but anyway, this shirt also reminds me of like future collective collaboration, that striped shirt from there at Target. Um, another outfit that like I look at it, I'm just like, I love this. And what it boils down to is obviously the tool. And I think that um, her outfit underneath the tooling is so good and gives me so much inspiration. Like, I feel like you sometimes for me when I'm start trying to style something like this or sheer, well, I feel like it's such an elevated look, like a party look, um, but pairing it with just like a j pair of jeans and um, a little like tube top like this, so good. And then with the shoes, obviously they're more of like a sandaly type of shoe um, with socks. It's just so good. I can't, it tickles my eyes and it tickles my brain. I, I love the pop of red too. This is like a gr great way. Um, you guys know I've been a fan of like the pop of red for a while now. Like 
specifically like in shoes. I love, love, love the look of a pop of red. Um, also this with accessories. I just think red accessories is where my heart is. You know what I mean? Like it's just a pop of that. Anyway, this, moving on to this outfit. Um, I love both of their outfits, but specifically the all knit outfit on the left. I was gonna say there's just something about it, but there's like everything about it. I love that it's all knit. I love that it's just a mix and match of a bunch of different things. Also the necklace is gorgeous and perfect. Um, the bag, such a good, fun bag. Um, and with the socks like this styled, and if you're a knitter, I feel like this kind of outfit is so good. Like just a fully knit look. I don't see a lot of those like where they're not like meant to be put together. Do you want Shoes are really great too. Both of their shoes are really great. And then the socks, like I always wonder where people get their socks. That's always my biggest question because so many people, especially during the fashion weeks, I'm just like, where did you get such a good sock? Do you know what I mean? That scrunches like that, that has that great color. I feel like whenever you ask those people where you get their socks from, um, not that I have, but I feel like I've seen people talk about them in their like Q and A's on Instagram or something. And they're always just like, oh, it's just a Hanes sock from Walmart. I'm like, ha well, they don't, the Hanes socks don't look like that. This is one that I just like the layering of like the dress um, over this kind of just simple collared shirt. I think what I love most about it is obviously the color scheme. I like the green umbrella with the yellow buttery boot, um, but the boots, I think the boots are like, really getting me this year with it, like the boots with mini dresses, boots with shorts and things like that. And um, I just like this, I, I just like this outfit. And I think this is really, I think this is why I like to include it in here because again, it is more of like a simple outfit when you boil it down, but I think it's such an attainable outfit and very cute to wear any day. So it also might be one of my favorites. I love it. I love both of their outfits on the left with the skirts and then with the socks and then the loafers. Um, but I love the like leather black loafer with the black sock. I think that for so long, I was so scared of black socks for some, thing, for some reason, they just seem so harsh, but um, I recently grabbed a few pairs and I love them. And I love them with, again, black shoes. Love the pleated skirt. I'm very, very into those right now, you guys know. And especially like the work, you know what? This might not be a skirt. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks pleated shorts that are supposed to look like a skirt, which makes it even cooler to me. Um, and then with the shirt and ye, this gives me inspiration on different ways to style pleated skirts and maxi skirts and things um, with a button up button up, which I don't ever do. And so love that with the backwards hat glasses. Great look. I love it so much. See, this is one of those outfits where I'm like, I'm just throwing it in here because I really like it. I don't exactly know how I'd incorporate like if I were to like switch around pieces to make it more wearable for me. Um, but I think what I'm taking away from this is that I really like the polka dot skirt, especially the sheer polka dots. I've been really into that. I keep seeing that Mew Mew um, white and black polka dot skirt. Or Marnie, maybe it's Marnie, I don't know. Um, everyone's using polka dots, which I love so much. I also saw the Marc Jacobs polka dots. I, I'm living for it. Colors and then with the feathery like cape that she has on, it's just so good with the sandals. I don't know. Um, and especially this bag, this bag color is so pretty, but I am looking for a polka dot fabric so I can make a skirt like that because it's so good. So this, I love all of these outfits, all three of them, but and especially the middle one, Ami Song, one of my all time, I, she just is a plethora of inspo for me personally. Um, but the one I'm specifically talking about today is all the way on the left. I love this look because it's just a bunch of patterns mixed together. Again, I think I just really like that. And then the colors too, like anchoring it with the black bag and the black sunglasses, you know, and then the heels are great too. Just something I love. I love the knit skirt, I think, or crocheted, whatever that is. Uh, it stands out in a bunch of, I feel like a lot of the like fashion week street style I saw was very like monochrome or like neutral, I guess, um, which I love too, but this stood out to me and I thought, again, something I really, really like. I just keep staring at this. Something about it, I feel like you could recreate like DIY. I think it's getting my brain moving on like, oh my God, I can layer a skirt over a different skirt because I have two different skirts that look like, I don't know if this is one skirt or not, but um, I love the ruched mini part of the skirt and then goes into like the super flowy um, sheer gorgeousness and with the shoes that it gives me very ba ballet. That's what I think I, pulls me over the edge is always like the details of like the draping a sweater over, which I always forget about. And then when I do it, I'm like, why don't I do this with every outfit? But, and then again, with the simple bag, just something about this whole outfit. I really, really, really like love this picture in general because there's so much going on. The happiness that is shining through over here and then slaying on the right and then back there, 
He just taking a video or a picture or whatever. I don't know. I just like the picture and then obviously the best part of the Anyway, what we're talking about here is the outfit. I would like to say I love the pants. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm taking away from this picture is the pointed toe heel. I think it's a great way to wear like a pajama style pant. And, and again, with a blazer like shown here, obviously very specific pieces. And I think you can actually like really style your shirt like this. I've been doing that lately, um, more so with my like button downs where you button half of it and then you kind of like make it drape out. You kind of have to do that, but I've seen people like pin them in the back so that they give it more of a shape like this. Something I really like about this that I think we can all take away is the color scheme. I think the red, the really bright red, the white pants and the brown bag, something about this color story speaks to me also with like the shoes that are white with the black laces. I love this so much. Personally love Hunter Schaefer. So anything she wears is like, so good, but um, this outfit I love so much. I wanna say it was for Prada, but I'm zooming in again on the socks and the shoes. I've been seeing so many leather-like Clarks, Clarks in general styled, and I love it. And I love the black leather with the gray sock. And so that's something that I want to wear and style with my black loafers is like a gray sock like this. Another picture I just loved. I loved the ambiance of this, um, but zooming in on specifically this red top with the brown pants. I love this color story as well. Um, and I really kind of just put this in because I love the top and I want to make a top like this because I feel like it would, I don't know. I've been seeing that lately where it's just simple. There's no collar and it's just like buttons straight down the front and it's very simple and sleek. Putting this in specifically because it's not 100% like, my style, I love it, I think it's so cute. But I'm zooming in because the jacket, I love how this raincoat is styled and it looks like it's the Studerheim um, jackets and I just think it's, it's that is that jacket is so ever evolving style wise, you can so wear it with anything and I just wanted to put this in there to showcase um, the many different ways you can style a raincoat and I love it. Really quickly, I wanted to add in a few of my favorite runway looks. And so starting off with the Molly Goddard one, really, 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 really liked this runway. I did, and I, did, I can't say that like a t about a ton of the runways that I saw recently, but um, I really liked this. And I like this outfit specifically, and I think it's something that I would love to recreate with like a fluttery, cute, like ruffly skirt and a basic cardigan and a big bag and with like lace up shoes like this, you know? I feel like I've been seeing a lot more Oxford style shoes in and I kind of, I'm loving it um, because it's obviously so Alexa Chung in my head and Tumblr and so anyway, um, this, I really liked this outfit as well and just like the pattern mixing like with this style of sweater with these uh, plaid pants, so funky and so fun. I really liked this and what I think I'm really taking away from the Molly Goddard runway is the layering of the ruffles. I think that's what I love the most is that you can see like the, down here under the dress, um, like you take that part away, like the white part away, and it would be a great outfit still, but more simple. And I think like, like just layering anything ruffles, that's like a bloomer of some sort or like a petticoat, I don't know. I just think we're layering the ruffles as you can see there and with the black outfit as well. I love it. And with like the lace up shoes, so cute. And then from the Simone Rocha show, which I loved so much as well, I think what I gather from here is to add bows to anything because she had so many bows all over everything and I love it so much. And I, like sometimes you see things that like could make you wanna cry. I love this look so much and specifically like the headpiece, I think it's so cool. Um, but yeah, with the bow, see like you could just take a simple, any dress that you have, throw on a velvet bow um, with a safety pin or something and you've transformed it. And this is what I like a lot too is this trench coat look um, with the big bow on it that is the same fabric as the trench coat. I think that's so cool. And I think that the reimagining of the trench coat, obviously you guys know I love that, um, but I think it's so fun in this way. And I've been seeing a lot of like bows being added to trench coats in general, and I think that's so fun. So that is something that I will be trying out, definitely. Lastly, we have the Jill Sander looks, and I really liked this runway as well. Um, like this, I really, really liked just how boxy everything is. As per usual with Jill Sander, but loved this and I love these boots and there was a lot of snake skin as well, which I thought was super cool, um, but more sleek and tailored, but still has a punch of fun and funkiness as um, Jill Sander usually does. Something that I pinpointed with the Jill Sander looks, proportions, playing with like shorts with boots like this, 
um, or shorts with like tall socks and really kind of leaning into that and where there's only like a little bit of leg shown and I think that's so cool looking and something that I've really never played around with. So love that. So yeah, that is all for fashion month. And I, again, I've really never been one to like report on fashion month, but I've been paying a little bit more attention to it lately and getting inspired and trying to look at things from a different lens, like to take inspiration from everywhere. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have anything that you've seen lately um, in the fashion world that you've felt really inspired by, because um, this has lit a spark under my butt, especially like the, with the trench coats, with the bows. I'm thinking of that now. I'm like, I wanna go try that. So I love you guys so much. And thank you again to Parade for sponsoring. Make sure you check them out down below. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.